our TVC online family. I'm Minister Tangela Hinton, First Lady of the Tabernacle Baptist Church here in Gastonia, North Carolina, where Dr. Benjamin Hinton is our senior pastor. We're so excited and elated that you've chosen to join us in worship this morning. If you're viewing with us for the first time, let us know in the comment section by typing VIP and someone from our ministry will contact you. On behalf of Dr. Henson, we want to say thank you so very much to our viewers who join us for worship week after week. We know that you have been blessed and we are thanking God for you. Throughout the service, if you would, give us a thumbs up, a heart, a praise the Lord, or amen, or a comment in the chat box, and we'll be greatly appreciated. As you've joined us in worship, prepare your hearts to receive a word of the Lord and prepare to engage in worship today. Our praise team is coming forth in just a few moments in the next eight minutes to let us know that we can usher into the presence of the Lord. Praise team, let us go. Come on, some of y'all heard this line before. Praise the Lord, everybody. We want to bid you a good morning. We're thankful to be here in the house of the Lord one more time. This song simply says, I will bless the Lord at all times. Come on, let's praise him. Praise him. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all
give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. For truly, this is the day that you have made, and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. And so, Father, we acknowledge that you are our Heavenly Father. We acknowledge that you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think. And so as we come into worship this morning, we yeah. give you glory, we oh. give you honor, we give you praise, for you're worthy. And so, Father, we thank you. And as we're preparing our hearts to receive a word from the Lord, we ask God that you prepare our hearts to be receptive to exactly what you have for us to hear. I ask God that you anoint Pastor Henson. I guess you anoint him and give him the word that you have for us to receive on today. Prepare the hearts of your people. God, grant them whatever they need. Father, there may be someone who's watching today who don't know you as their personal Lord and Savior. There may be someone today who's struggling with some issues, with some concerns, and don't know whether or not you're able to do it. But we decree and we declare right now here today that you are able to change situations. You are able to change and deliver and set free. And so, Father, right now in Jesus' name, we love you, we glorify you, and we magnify you. For it is in Jesus' name we do pray and believe that it is done. It is so. We seal it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you for that fervent prayer. Thank you, praise team, for leading us and ushering us into the worship. We want to thank you for joining us today. Praise God for his bountiful blessings. Amen. And I pray that you've had a blessed week. And I just want to give a shout out and a thank you to our wonderful members of our impact team, our impact center, who exceeded their expectation on yesterday, their goal. And I want to thank all of our members for giving out, uh, for sharing. Uh, we gave out uh, excessive of 75 uh, uh, meals on yesterday, pre-packaged uh, for Thanksgiving, turkeys and ham and the fixings. So we praise God for all of you who, who shared, who gave, and who participated. Also want to share with you today from 2 to 5 at the East Ridge Mall, the Divine Nine uh, fraternity and, uh, and uh, Greek uh, uh, sororities are giving out also Thanksgiving meals. So go out there and you will be blessed. Let me just remind you that on this coming Tuesday, uh, rather than Wednesday service, we're going to have a Tuesday night praise. Tuesday night Thanksgiving praise. Our praise team is going to be uh, in place leading us in praises and thanksgiving to God. We are going to give a word of, of impartation and, and thanksgiving, and we just praise God for what he's going to do. Amen. Well, let me share with you, about a year ago, I was watching the NBA draft, and uh, one of the young men that were drafted, his father was a pastor, and they profiled that. And I said that night, I said, God, I'm next in line. And so, as many of you watched the NBA draft, as we did on Wednesday night, amen, we understood his name was not called in the first round or the second round, but praise God, before the draft was over, uh, Nate's agent was on the phone, and we got a call. We got a midnight call. I call it a midnight miracle. <laughs> Hallelujah. We were not in the green room, but we were in the bathroom. We were in the bathroom. God turned a oh, yes, bathroom into a war room yes. and a prayer room. And we received that call from the, uh, from the NBA owner, Mark Cuban, saying, Nate, we want you in Dallas. So I wanted to take this opportunity yes. to invite our church baby who was brought up in our church, Dr. Nate Hinton, will come. And uh, we want to just let him have an opportunity to share his gratitude to God. What an awesome God we serve. Dr. Nate, it's in your hands, sir. God bless. Can we just show some love? Amen. Our own seed of our seed, product of the Tabernacle Church and Gastonia, North Carolina. Dr. Nate, talk to us. Praise God. How y'all doing today? Amen. First of all, I want to say, I lift my eyes to the hills from which comes my help. My help Amen. coming from the Lord. Amen. Uh, I just want to say thank y'all, uh, church family. Thank y'all, my parents. Thank you, Coach Jody. He's probably watching. I want to thank literally this whole city of Gastonia just for the love, support, and, and just the years and years of support and love. And, and that just kept going me on, kept keeping me on. And, you know, just to anybody that's out there chasing a dream, as long as you put the faith and the hard work in it, you know, anything is possible. And uh, this, this morning, I, was, I woke up a little happy this morning. Um, 
I was, like he said, in the midnight hour, uh, we was literally in the bathroom. I, I hadn't, I was feeling a little, not discouraged, but I was just, you know, trying to figure out what was going on, but I didn't see what was happening behind the scenes. Mm. And I literally was in the bathroom, I'm in there crying, like, you know, the drive wasn't even over yet. I'm, I'm sitting there crying, like, I don't, I don't see it, I don't see it. And then, literally, in the midnight hour. Yeah. <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> like, Growing up, you're hearing the songs, you know, late in the midnight, like literally in the midnight hour. Yeah. Like, and this morning I was listening to two songs, one song, listen to two songs, and, and one the, the message that I got from both of these songs was to know. Yeah. To know, not know like N-O. It wasn't, it's not a no, but to know. Uh. The first song was We're Blessed by, by Fred Hammond. Mm. Late in the midnight hour, God's yeah. gonna turn it around. My, my. <laughs> and I, Late in the midnight hour. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Not, not in the afternoon. Wow. Not before the draft. No, we don't know. We don't know. Uh, but late in the midnight hour. In the midnight hour. And, and the second song, it was by, by the Soul Seekers. It, it was, if I was just anybody, yeah. I would say it's all good. Yeah. But I know it's all God. It ain't it, it ain't nothing that I did. Nothing that they did. Nothing that nobody here could ever imagine. When you say unprecedented times, unprecedented favor in unprecedented times, this whole time I I'm thinking, you know, maybe, hopefully I I, I had the faith. Yeah. But in due time, yeah, yeah, Juicy. let us not become weary. Yeah, I got a tat on my leg, but in that for two seconds, I I did little have a little weary. I had yeah. a weary moment. Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah, but let us not become weary in doing good. Yeah, if God didn't bless me enough before then, no yeah. more. <laughs> I, I I'm good, but. It's for a purpose, and yeah. let us not become weary in doing good for at the, the right time, in yeah. due season. That's all I'm going to say, because I'm going to get happy right now. Oh, let the Lord uh, use it. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, my dad said, you're going to be rewarded for your faithfulness. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, it's all right. Give it glory. This ain't happened. This ain't happened just last week. Oh, Jesus. This ain't happened two years ago when I said I won to Houston. Yeah. I was birthed in this. Yeah. Jesus. I had to have an unshakable faith. Yeah. I had to stay focused and watch God. I had to know the power of my focus. And I had to know that there was a push. <laughs> not not on the outside. Oh Jesus! Not on the outside. <laughs> But on the inside. Oh God. Jesus. And it ain't again a president of favor yes, in our president of time. Yes, sir. But at the end of the day, you can tell me two plus two is four. Yeah. And I know that's that's two plus two is four. Yeah. You can tell me three times three is, is nine. Yeah. But when somebody asks me, do you think it's gonna happen? Do you, do you think it's gonna happen? It, it, it don't look like it's good. You think it's gonna happen, Nate? You sure you wanna leave Houston? You see, you wanna. What God told me? He didn't tell you what you told you. But I know, just like I know, my name is Nathaniel Robert Hinton. You can't tell me no different. I know that in the midnight hour. Yes. <laughs> oh my God!
I didn't I didn't understand why, but to anybody out there that has a dream, you're never too late to give up on your dreams. Don't don't ever give up. And, and, and you gotta put the work in, you just can't say it. But you can go, you can do 99% of the way. And the door ain't open. But at the end of the day, at 11.59, the day ain't over. But when it hit midnight, they said Cinderella happened at midnight. A change came late in the midnight hour. night he was not interviewed by the sports commentators but when you get a call from Mark Cuban the owner of the Dallas Mavericks and he tells you Nate we want you in Dallas for a long career in basketball Literally, all we could do was tap that bathroom with a praise and a hallelujah. So I thank God that his testimony, and God works through all of us. We're so phenomenally blessed. We just thank God that God is sending him back to Texas where he started a few hours from Houston but we give God glory. He said, in the midnight hour, and there may be somebody listening, watching, hearing right now. You, you are at a midnight hour. I know it's, I know it's in the morning. I, I know it's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, but you may be having a midnight situation. And as I always say, it's 1159.99. Don't give up on God. Surrender to God. And maybe God is trying to say to you, that's what you need to do. Surrender to God. Because even with Paul and Simon, as they sang and praised God, and as a result of their song and their praise, as a result of their testimony, the Bible says the jailer came in. All right, all right. And the jailer got saved. Right. And his house. And he took them home. Maybe that's you. Maybe you, you need to be saved right now. You need to say, Lord Jesus, I, I've tried everything, I've tried everybody, but I have not surrendered my heart, my soul, my life to you. I want to extend an invitation. He's already preached. He's already shared the word. I'm not going to try to get up and re-preach a whole new sermon. His testimony is God's testimony. Long before he went to Houston, he came up with the talent acronym, Talent Is My Testimony. And so we want to invite you right now. Somebody's watching, maybe invite you to invite Christ into your heart to say, Lord, I need to be saved. I want to be saved. I've had enough dreams deferred. 
I've had enough blessing canceled. I, I need you now. I need you to come into my life. If you would just pray, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you can be saved. God says in Isaiah 1, 18, come now, let's reason together, said the Lord. Though your sins are dark as scarlet, they'll be white as snow. I, I, if you're willing, you can eat the good of the land, but, but you got to be willing. You got to be willing to surrender. Stop fighting. God has allowed this pandemic to get all of our attention, and especially those who are unsaved, those who are straddling the fence, those who are wavering, those who are wishy-washy, those who are part-time Christian, those who are Sunday morning Christian, God wants to save you right now and your house. He wants to save your house right now. Will you pray? Will you say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart? I want to pray with you along with all of our parents, all of our children, our community, our leaders. There's so much to pray for. Let's pray now, and then the praise team is just going to lead us in praise and song. But I pray that you invite Christ into your heart right now. And if you did, write in the comment section that I gave my life to Christ. Today is my new day in Jesus' name. Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we love you. We thank you. We praise you for how you use common things common experiences to teach supernatural lessons. You have shown through our son, your son, Nate, how you can turn things around in a midnight when it looks dark and dismal. You step in and show yourself strong on behalf of those who are faithful. I thank you for him. I thank you for those who are watching, those who are connected all around the world. I pray for their salvation. I pray for their deliverance. I pray for their healing. I pray for their encouragement. I pray for their family. Somebody's battling COVID. Somebody else is battling cancer. But in the name of Jesus, encourage, lift them, save, deliver, set free. Bring that family back together. Bring that marriage back together. Reach that son, that daughter, that wayward husband, that wayward wife, that grandparent, whoever it is. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you. Thank you for your testimony today. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the anointing right now. And somebody may need a financial blessing. Open some doors right now. We pray increase. We pray overflow. We pray unprecedented favor in unprecedented time. In Jesus' name, pray for our good mayor, our governor, our outgoing president, and our elected president, in Jesus' name, all of our elected officials, we bless you, we thank you, and we give you praise right now. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. It's going to be all right in the morning. Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together and tell God thank you. Come on, praise team. Bless them, bless them, bless them.
Listen, thank you for joining us today. I pray that you are blessed by the worship experience today. I pray that you will remember the message today. Pray for Nate as he began his journey, as he continues to represent God, but pray for us as we began this new season of life. But we just thank God for his favor, for what he has done, what he is doing, but what he's going to do and what we're believing God to do in the lives of others. Amen. Praise God. He is so awesome. What a phenomenal God we serve. What an awesome God we serve. We praise him. Hallelujah. And as a result, you don't ever know how God will bless and manifest. We do have one. Miss Krista Marshall gave her life to Christ. Hallelujah. Crystal, hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God, it was worth it. Hallelujah. We celebrate with you, Krista. And the Bible says that heaven rejoice when one sinner, when one, not just the 90 and 9, but one. So we praise God for you. Be sure to leave your contact information. You're going to hear from us. You're going to hear from me, Miss Krista. We praise God. Hallelujah. Ha Come on, praise God. We ought to have heaven ought to get, ha earth get happy with heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What an awesome God we serve, and we just praise God. Listen, we're going to close for the day. The choir is going to lead us in another song, but on Tuesday, on Tuesday at 7 o'clock, Amen. Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, we're going to have a Tuesday night uh, Thanksgiving praise. Hallelujah. The praise team, the voices of praise, they're going to be ready, right? Hallelujah. We're going to be ready, and we're going to celebrate God on Tuesday night from 7 until 8, or until the Lord says otherwise. But thank you for being a part of this worship experience today. I'm praying that you have a safe, safe holiday. Listen, the CDC is asking us. The numbers are spiking all over. I got a call from the Health and Human Services of the state of North Carolina. They're asking us to communicate the word. I know you want to get together with your family. And, and for the last 29 and almost 30 years, this time of year, I always tell you I've got Georgia on my mind. But I've got, I've got Georgia on my mind, but I'm going to keep my behind in North Carolina. <laughs> Praise God, but no, no, we're not going to uh, travel. But listen, we've got to be safe. Wear your mask. I know some of you are saying it's your right, but put the mask on. Wash your hands. Practice social distancing. And, and, and above all, as I say all the time, you stay focused, stay faithful, and watch God do the phenomenal. God will do unprecedented things, show you unprecedented favor in unprecedented time. Hallelujah. God bless you. We love you. Lady Hinton, thank you for sharing with us. Come on, praise team, and close us out. We love you. God, glory, saddle up. Praise God. Hallelujah. We've got one more. Lori Sadler gave her life to Christ. Lori Sadler, praise God. Hallelujah. Y'all, we're about to turn this into a praise of thought. <laughs> How great. How great.
ABC All-Stars. Monday is the deadline to submit your grades and accomplishments to be featured in the December newsletter. Email Patricia Butler at tbcgastonia.org. Join us for 6.15 a.m. morning prayer every Monday and Wednesday by calling our prayer line. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tabernacle Baptist Church Gastonia, to stream the latest sermons, messages from over the years, and much more. Hit the notification bell so that you never miss our most recent video. This week, we want you to gather the family, invite friends, call a neighbor, and join us online for a night of Thanksgiving, Tuesday at 7 p.m. When you give beyond your tithes and offering to our Vision to Victory Seed Campaign, you are acting on a measure of faith, a matter of trust, and a movement of the heart. Your participation at any level will help change lives. You may choose to make a weekly, bi-weekly, or even a monthly commitment. It's amazing how easily your commitment can add up over a period of time. As you invest in the kingdom of God, the real fruit will be personal and spiritual growth, a deeper understanding of stewardship and unity. The ways you can give to our B2B seed campaign is by dropping it off at the church office or going to our website, tbcgastonia.org, and selecting one of the giving options. Indicate when giving that your donation is going toward our B2B campaign. Um. guided individuals and families as they entered the parking lots to have their trunks filled. their gratitude and said the same two words, thank you. Whether you encounter difficult trials or unexpected joys today, it's imperative to remember that God is greater than anything you experience. The gospel of Jesus is bigger than Sunday morning. To all volunteers, ministries, and anyone who helped the impact ministry exceed their goal, thank you. Ten.